right. Shalom, shalom. 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 First and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the lesser great millstone. Double honors. Double honors. Shalom unto the few but faithful aquatium, you know, the, the brothers that were in this street out there and the speckled birds, you know, that look like the other nations. Right? So we want to get into this quick lesson here. You know, we started from the foundation, come up, right? Now, like I see by the title, you know, I ain't really word it right now, but we're going into the that salvation is only for Israel, right? The Lord only dealing with the nation of Israel, right? Okay. So um to begin first let me say let me introduce you know I's brother Kyle you brother know brother Yasad brother Ahmad Bayan can right so we're gonna go into the lesson here we start starting off with Matthew one and one the right. book of Matthew chapter one and verses one the book of the generation of Yahweh Mashiach the son of David the son of Abraham can right so this this precept here going into it basically telling you that hey Yahweh Shai came out of the, 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 the lineage of David, right? So he's an Israelite. Right? Um let me go to Romans 1 and 3. Right? Um, there's the book of Romans 1 and 3 concerning his son, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. Can according to the flesh, right? When I go into the word seed, seed, right? I will go into it here. Yeah, the blue letter. Yeah. Right, so we go into the word seed. Right, when you go into the word seed, you get sperm, huh? right? But you know, it's sperm. Children, offspring, and progeny. Uh, progeny, progeny, yeah. progeny yeah. Yeah. family, tribe, posterity, posterity, right, whatever, yeah, whatever, possesses, possesses viral force, vital force, vital force or life giving power. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, what you, what you, what you mean, what you know is his sperm, right? Uh, because yeah. we, we understand that point from since we read sperm, right? Uh, we know we're going into sperm, right? As it say, you know, it's his semen, right? We know that modern day here now too, semen is his seed, right? So we get the understanding that, hey, Yahweh Shai literally came out of the lineage of David, right? Through, through Joseph. I have a precept back here, okay? The book of Revelation, chapter 22 and 16. I, Yahweh Shai, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. So Yahweh Shai, this is confirmation here. Yeah. You know, 
Now shall he come out and say, you know, unto the churches, I is the root and offspring of David. You know, the seed of David. And that's yeah. part two, because that, that piece of also come right after the Galatians 4 and 4. Sorry, I can bring that one, Baba Kusha. Hmm? But that is one thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah that, that going back to the same thing. Galatians 4 and 4. Yeah. Yeah, it is a book of Galatians 4 and 4 that when the fullness of the time was come, Yahweh sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law. Grand, made under the law, right? So when when, Yahweh, when the Mosai, right, which is Yahweh, sent forth his son, Yahweh Shai, made of a woman, which is Mary, right, as you brother now read in Revelation 22 and 16, right? When you have a shy coming out of his own mouth, right? He say that hey, he's the offspring of David, right? Right? Anytime you hear about um the, the branches, you know, and roots and whatnot, they talk about, about um families, right? Which link back with the same Matthew 1 and 1, right? Where we brought out first, right? So you can read verse 5 back. That is 5. Who redeemed them that were under the law that we might receive the adoption of sons can right to redeem them that were under the law that we might receive the adoption of sons right so to redeem that, that them that under the law right who see them that under the law right who was the law given to understand so you can read the um Matthew 1 and 21 okay. um, Matthew 1 and 21 and she shall and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. Can Yahweh Shai, right? Where are For he shall save his people from their sins. Right? So, we know, according to this precept, right? The she concerning there is Mary, right? She brought forth Yahweh Shai, right? Who will save his people, right? From their sins, right? Who is the people that sin, right? That will be with the people first, right? Um, Sirach 46 and 1. Yeah. Yeah, the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 46 and verses 1. Yeah. It says, Yahushai, the son of a name, was valiant in the wars and was the successor of Moses in prophecy, who, according to his name, was made great for the saving of the elect of Yahweh and taking vengeance of the enemies that rose up against them that he might set Israel in their inheritance can right so we know this Yahweh Shai here you're not talking about our savior right which is actually Joshua can. right he was one of the few people that had Yahweh Shai name you understand so as we're going back down again you can read back again huh? all right so I will use Joshua so yeah, Joshua can. the son of of a son and me was valiant right he was brave in the wars can. and was the successor of moses in, in prophecies can. who according to his name was made great for the saving of the elect of the hour can. and taking vengeance of the enemies that rose up against can. them can. that he might set israel in their inheritance right so that was that was joshua he did that at that time, so right, the same thing that um, right. Yahweh Shai is going to do in this time, but obviously it's going to be more magnificent. You know, the Lord can't come busting through the sky, you know, and it's all guns out. You understand? All guns blazing, right? So, um, we can go back to the Matthew 1 and 21. Right. Yeah, it's Matthew 1 and 21, and she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Yahushai, for he shall save his people from their sins. Can, right? Now we find out who was the people, right? Because same Surah 46 and 1, right? They mention the elect, right? Taking vengeance upon the enemies that rose up against them, that he might set Israel, right? Israel. They mention Israel, right? So you see, they mention the elect and Israel, right? So we know it's the nation of Israel that we're dealing with, right? So now we want to. We want to know uh, more about it, right? Because it's a, you can read back the last part, but it's a, um, after, after it's a, I'm sure. Right. 
for he shall save his people from their sins right his people from their sins right so who's the people again and why is he sins right so you could get um you could get bring all the psalms up. psalms okay this is this is the, this is the book of psalms 147 19. he showed his word unto jacob his statue and his judgments unto israel can so you see um so like, i'm gonna pull it up here right so he showed his word, his word unto jacob on his statues and his judgment unto israel right uh, you could read on verse 20 yeah. he had not he had he, he had not dealt so with any nation can you have done so with any other nation right so right. it's only the nation of Israel the Lord dealing with, right? right? And you know twice his confirmation, so you can bring out the um the the Deuteronomy five and one uh, to back Look it up. Look at five and one. And Moses called all Israel and said unto them, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and the judgments which I speak in your ears, Grand. this day that ye may learn them and keep and do them, right? So who, who Moses called? Right, he called the nation of Israel, he said, hey, Moab, come and hear this too now. Ole, come and hear this. Amon, come through, Ole, Ole, come and take him, you know. He then, he then called them, he called the nation of Israel, right. right. And you see, the key word they, right, and Moses called all Israel, right. He said, the whole world, right, he called all Israel, right. The all, the all the Israelites, right. He called and tell them and say, hey, hear the Lord's statutes and commandments. You understand? Because that is what that is what the Lord gave Moses to give unto the people, right? So when when they're talking about the sin in Matthew 1 and 21, right? He shall deliver his people from sin, right? We find out his people is Israel, right? And it's only them could sin. Because if they was the one that, that um received the laws, right, they are the ones that are capable of committing sin, right? You can't break something that wasn't given unto you, right? Because all these other nations and them they which we're gonna get into eventually, you know, but just to mention a few things, you know. They they trying to be us and they can't be us because they're doing things that, you know, that we off. You understand? And they're still prospering in that sense because why? This is where they function because why we went off, right? We went off, we strayed from our power. You understand? So um somebody can get Hebrews 13 and 8 and Malachi 3 and 6. This is the book of Hebrews 13, verse 8. Your Hawashai, your Mashiach, the same yesterday and today and forever. Can. So you see, the Lord never changed, right? The Lord can. never changed. <coughs> to back it up one time, I can bring out the Malachi 3 and 6. Can. Right? Can. It's Malachi 3 and 6. For I am Yahweh, I change not. Can. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Can. Right, so you can go in the blue letter and go into the word consumer. Right, you can read the matter of fact here. Bring the meaning first, and then you read the energy. that tells you that your Hashem is shy do change oh. and you know the, the, the son your house shy mm -hmm. is, is a reflection mm -hmm. of the father when you see your house shy you see the father mm -hmm. in your house shy you know and two of them has what the same mind it's not they being the same one individual but they are different individuals with the same mind you know so 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 it's your house shy say he is the same today for uh tomorrow and forever okay. you know and your house your house saying that you know he 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 changed not okay. you know? so 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 hey that is just to show you that um there's not no there's no confusion as the scriptures say yeah is not an author of confusion right Strong's H 
Consume, determine, and fail, finish. Right. So you see them, them last three that you call, and fail, finish, finish. right? Because that would end up to happen to Israel, right? Okay. You know the other means, right? You can go down some more. You could actually jump to, um, to, to I. Okay. To be, to be complete. <coughs> yeah, can. Be at an end. Can. Right, so it's a would I be at the end if you lot change, right? Okay, read the next one. Okay. To be complete, be finished, be finished. Can. Right? Um well yeah, we could drop it from the right so we get the understand because um because we be an you know, right? So we get the understand from the meaning here, right? If you lord the change, right, Jacob, right, which is the um nation of Israel. Right, the Lord would have done away with me then. You know, we would have been done for if the Lord had change, right? Because the Lord always hold up his end of the bargain, and it's we easy one that switch up, right? The Lord could have said, You know what, them are listening to me, and I, I, yeah, you see, I got the Lord more instead, you understand? And then we would have been done away with, you understand? But the Lord, the Lord kept on deal, dealing with us, you understand? So now we can read the NLT, right? So you can get a more clear understanding the same way. You know, we we'll barely read really what I wanted to. There's um, Malachi 3 and 6 again here. Yeah. I am Yahweh. To the NLT. And this is the NLT um, version. So that's it. I am Yahweh. And, and I do not change. That. That is why you, descendants of Jacob, are not are already destroyed. Can so you see? And that's really what I wanted Can. to destroy because we would have been destroyed, right? Because yeah. we know, um, who say after one six here, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, mm -hmm. right? Which we're not going to these two thirds and them. They're gonna get destroyed, even though we know they're gonna come back in the kingdom, right? Or if it is the Lord did use that priest up in the sense of, you know, he changed and he said, well. You know, the old nation that I used to love, you know, they're going to get destroyed for lack of knowledge, all right? And you know, he saw or, or, or with Moab instead, you know, we would have be feeling like, like us because we was, because when we see if they did get our glory or when, or our inheritance, we would have watch them and be like, hey, boy, that could have been me, you know? Why if he's also bought hurt, right? Why if he's also bought hurt? Because it's like he, he, he knows and they get the idea of what it is he really gave up, even though it was ordained or predestinated for us to receive that good, right? right? But why do you feel he's all getting on so? You understand? He don't know exactly how the kingdom of heaven will look, but he, he knows and to understand what it is he really gave up, right? From, from the time he done eat and put belly, he say, hey, shit, I fucked up, right? You can't get it back. You understand why he's so angry as well as other reasons too. You know, but you can stay on top of here so you can bring all the emos out. Look at Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that your house had spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you. For all your iniquities. Can right? So again, if the Lord gave the law, statutes, and commandments unto the nation of Israel, right? And then in this precept, it's saying in verse two, it say, "You only have I known of all the families of the earth, right?" So the Lord didn't know no other nation besides the nation of Israel, right? So the Lord say, "Hey, if you I will punish for your iniquities, right? It's only we can sin because we was the ones that got the law." Right, the Lord never gave um, Moab and Ammon. None of the other nations. Yeah, can. Yeah. The Lord never gave none of them. It's only Israel. Can. That, you is why, that is why the curses, the curses build up on us because we transgress. We went against the the, the, the commandments of Yahweh and Shemesh. Can. You know? Can. And another thing too, you know, these, 
they come like these heathens here, they, they, they just live in free. Yeah. You know? They don't have to worry about if they eat unclean, but this guy happened. Right. That disease will come upon them, right. all these things, because the Lord wasn't given unto them. That is why it's only the Lord only come to give Israel repentance, because right. this is what these nations going to repent for. And the Lord wasn't given unto them. Yeah, right. they have nothing to repent for. <laughs> in in the they sight of the Lord, them. them them doing wicked unto us, you know. But in terms of them eating and doing whatever they're doing, right? Lord of Israel, hey, well, look at go right ahead. Yeah, go right ahead, you know. That is that is their God. The Lord don't care who they worship. He don't care what them do. You understand? He care about what us, what we, what we do. You understand? He care about what we do because we are the chosen um, people. Right? We are the people that he chose. Right? Right. And the fact that he, he chose us and we transgressing against him is what makes him so angry. You understand? Because all people out here calling, um, calling themselves Hamites and whatnot and all these things. Right? So when you're going to the word Egypt in this context here, right? The name previously was named um, Mizraim, right? Which was one of the, 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 the sons of um, Ham, right? Later changed by the Greeks to Egypt, right? So we could never be an Egyptian or a Hamite and all these things. You understand? We are the nation of Israel. We call me right? the Nisha Shem. Can. Yapa. Right? So, um, you can bring all the acts now. Yeah, the acts by one, two, three. 20, 20. 29. 29? Yeah, 29. I'm at, um, Psalm 89. This is the book of Acts, chapter. This is the book of Acts, chapter five and verse twenty-nine. Then Peter and the other mm -hmm. apostles answered and said, "We ought to obey Yahweh rather than men." Done. Are you going on? What are you Done. Yahweh, our fathers, rise up Yahweh Shai, whom he slew. And hang on a tree. Alright, if you know what it is when the Lord died for us and it's done. Right up. Yeah, it's a thirty one. 31. Him, um, him had Yahweh exalted with his right with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and for and for forgiveness of sins. Right? To give repentance unto who? To Israel. Israel. Right? <coughs> to give repentance unto Israel, not the yeah. whole world. Yeah. Understand? Because salvation only pertaining to the nation of Israel. Yeah. Right? It have like like Yasad said, you know, these other nations have nothing to repent for because in the sight of the Lord, hey, they're really doing nothing wrong, you know. Aside from from even though the Lord is the one that set them up to, to be over us. You know, and do what they're doing unto us because we transgress. Yeah. Right? At the end of the day, right, with them eating and, and worshiping and all these things, right? They dying but any Lord. Right? Because the Lord set them up to do that. But we know, right? The Lord made us to worship him and we going home. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we read already. Yeah, yeah, the Psalms. Mm -hmm. Psalms 89 Can. and 34. My covenant will not. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Once, I, once have I sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David. Still up here, just now. Uh, this is Psalms 89 and 24. My, my covenant will I not break. Right, so the Lord said he's not going to break his covenant. Right, same as we, we read in um, Hebrews 13 and 8 and in Malachi 3 and 6. Right, the Lord said he don't change. Right, because if he did, Jacob would have get destroyed. Right, the nation would have been done away with. Right, so the Lord said I don't break my covenant. Right nor the altar right the thing that is going out of my lips right the lord don't you know the lord don't transgress his word you understand the lord say he's gonna do something and that is what he's gonna do you understand so you can get the um the roman yeah romans 10 and 15. yeah you are
the arm. The arm still comes? Yeah. Well, yeah. well, I'm going to bring the arm. You don't want to stand at it. Yeah, well, for sure. Hey, I'm not going to bring this arm. Quick. Right. The book of Luke chapter 1 and 68, yeah. it says, Blessed be the power, blessed be the power of Israel, Done. For he had visited and redeemed his people. Done. And so, his people. Yeshua lied and he kept his promise. You Done. know? Done. He kept his promise. He kept, you know, he stick to the, the covenant that he made with us. It said, and had raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Done. Yeah, so. Hey, precept upon precept, line upon line, you know. Here, here, the, 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 hey, everything, everything being made clean in your, in your eyesight, you know. Where, where you wouldn't be able to, to go astray. Um, you, you can bring the Romans 10. Yeah, can. Is it book of Romans 10 and 13? For whosoever shall call upon the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai shall be saved. Right? So it says, Who shall call upon the, the, the name of the Lord shall be saved, right? Is that talking about everybody? Let me find out. Let me read the arm. Ask love. Arm. Ask. Yeah, 200. Book of Acts chapter 2 and 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call, of, uh, call on the name of Yahweh shall be saved. Can. Ye men of Israel, ye men of who? Ye men of Israel, can ye men of Israel, right? So the Lord say, whoever call on the, on his name, right? Then he goes on to say, verse twenty two, ye men of Israel, right? So ye men of Israel, he talking to the nation of Israel, right? Concerning salvation and all these things, it's always the nation of Israel. The Lord ain't go down go to these other nations and say, hey, well, they call upon me, I go help all you. You understand these other nations and them then done living lavishly here right they they living off of, off of the, the the blood sweat and tears of us you know we build most of these things we, we create these things for them you know either they take it over like you saw you know steal this steal that steal their idea and prove it some more calling it their own and all these things you know and why we get no credit for it you understand they living off of us right because it's like the it's like the scripture say right it's always the salt of the earth right with all these movies and things too right you feel you can watch movies and things or listen to music or, or watch sports and all these things without shaking it it's gonna be real boring it's gonna be real boring you understand we use the salt of the earth right we use the one that hey we are the flame in that pot you understand so yeah you could um bring the yeah, can. Can. This is the book. It's all like, yeah. Um, you read verse 22, huh? Yeah, you didn't finish it. I didn't so finish like, it. Can. So like, yeah. Acts 2, 22. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved of Yahweh among you by miracles and wonders and signs which Yahweh did by him in the midst of you as ye yourselves also know. Can. Right, so it mentioned um, Yahweh of Nazareth, right? Yahweh was born in Bethlehem, right? But the prophet said he was going to be called a Nazarene because that is where he grew up and that is where he do most of his miracles and stuff, right? So that's why they, they say, well, you know, Christian would say Jesus of Nazareth, you know, but it's really Yahweh right? Um, you can read back the last part, Baba Kusha. Right, it says, which Yahweh did by him in the midst of you. As ye no, was, a, 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 uh, say, uh, a man approved of Yahweh among you by miracles and wonders and signs, Can. which Yahweh did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. Can. Because even in this time here too, the Lord doing miracles, right? Because we come into the truth here, the Lord did miracles on us because we used to be doing a lot of wicked stuff. Right, somebody just smoke, somebody. Well, I show all of us it tastes poker already, right? All of us guilty of committing adultery and all these things, right? The Lord basically performed miracles by saying, Hey, you want to stop doing this, right? You come into the light now, I'm choosing you out of the world, right? That's the same John, right? The Lord chose us out of the world, right? That is Him performing miracles upon us, 
You understand? And that's why we gotta be grateful for this truth. And why the scripture say, hey, no man could boast about this, right? Because we we can't boast about um, having this knowledge and, and, and knowing so much and all these things because why? Right? The Lord is the one that gave it unto us. He, he showed us that mercy, right? He performed that miracle, right? This is all Him, right? This is His power, not, not of our doing or of our will, right? That's why the precept saying, uh, it is John. Um, he have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Can. Yeah. Take a right arm, Kara. I bring this up. Yes, this is the book of Deuteronomy, 7 and 6. For those art and holy people of your hour, by Shem and Shai. So that can read the way we go to that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, 7 and 6. For thou, for thou art and holy people unto your power thy power your your power thy power had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that that are upon the face of the earth can you see the lord chose us to be above all people at the end of the, uh, above the people uh, select yeah. yes. as it's saying um, yeah. in, in the same emotion and one right the lord say he chose us out of all the families of the earth right and according to the same Deuteronomy here, right, above all people that are upon the face of the earth, right? See, the Lord chose us to be above all of them, right? Because yeah. we're supposed to be on top, right? But according to the curses, the Lord said what? Right? He will cause us to serve our enemies, right? So they are the ones on top because why? We transgress, right? We are the ones that transgress. These are the nations and them. They can't transgress against something that wasn't given unto them in the first place, as I said, you know? So they are the ones that, that, um, on top of us right now, we, we are the bottom, right? But we gonna get back our salvation, we're gonna get back the kingdom, you know, Lord willing, we'll be part of that, that number, you know, in the first go around. But you know the whole nation is gonna get saved, right? They're gonna be on top, right? Of all these other nations, right? It's just the elect gonna get saved first and then the others. You understand? So we're gonna be on top, right? So that again proven that the Lord only the nation Israel, Israel is. The, the, the nation would be well I'm a, well I'm a, um state that properly um as well as the nation that's gonna um get salvation right these other nations and them cannot get that right the Lord bestowed that upon us right um you can read on verse seven huh? then verse seven Yahweh did not set his love upon you nor choose you because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest, fewest. were the fewest of all people. Can right? So at that time we, we were the last nation to be established, right? So we were the yeah. smallest until we came down more to two. Um, you understand? We were the smallest nation. But the, what the scripture say about um, Israel is like the sand of the sea. Can, yeah. right? So when we <laughs> that your first week, yeah. when we 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 became the sun of the sea, right? It's our it's our Israelite in every country, right? Because of the curses, right? So when we as um I believe is the video yesterday where the person I mentioned to the rules over there when we were dealing with the Ashanti tribe, you know, every time we we, we was on the run, it's like we leave our remnant behind. Yeah. So it's like when let like me say we was on that side of the field like that by that old post right then we get chased we reach more to the middle we leave our remnant our remnant there again we chase we keep going we keep going and you know it's just remnant left behind you know so that is Israel all over the, the place too you understand so you could read um verse 8 to work okay. verse 8 but because Yahweh loved you and because he would keep the oath which he which he had sown unto your answer. fathers had Yahweh brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And, right? And what was that oath that the Lord um the Lord had sworn unto, unto our fathers, right? It was the kingdom, right? And it was promised unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? So again, according to the Malachi 3 and 6, right? If the Lord the change Right? We would have been consumed, we would have been destroyed. Right? But because the Lord remember that covenant, he remember that oath that he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? the Lord never forsook us. 
right? I'm because he's a man of his word. The Lord don't transgress his word. You understand? Yeah. You could um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Hebrews chapter eight and six. It said, but now. Right, yeah, but now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry, by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. Okay, right, which was established upon better promises, right? So we know Yahushua is the mediator, right? Because even before Yahushua is upon the scene and all, right? We can go to the Mosai without a mediator, right? He too powerful, right? Hence the title, the Most High, right? He's nothing. We can't just go and say, hey, Yahweh, help you out with this thing. This like, like he's your friend, you understand? Right? He's the most high. Right? So you have to have a mediator between him. Because, because even before Yahweh Shai, right, it had certain priests and things we had was to go to. Right? It had certain prophets like Mo Moses and whatnot we had was to go through in order to, to deal with the Lord. We couldn't go to the Lord directly. Because when 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 the nation, when um when Moses was was um leading the, the nation of Israel out of Egypt, right? They, they get fed up on Moses and they tell Moses they want to talk to the Lord um one on one, right? And you look, and, and Moses said, Well, all right, well, they go right there. What happened to them, right? They started shit themselves, they're frightened. You understand? The Lord started show a, a little thing and he put one to them and you know they started to get shaky. You understand? Because the Lord don't want to deal with them directly, he using Moses to talk to all the other listen to Moses. You understand? So he was the mediator at that time. Right? And we couldn't keep the, the old covenant also. Right? Because we fell short. Right? According to um, 2 Corinthians 5 and 14. Right? Yahushua died for all of us. Right? Even the great men fall short. Right? According to Romans 3 and 23. Anybody can bring that quick? Romans 3 and 23. It's a hell of shit. Go quick. The book of Romans. Chapter 3 and 23, it says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of your power. Can, right? So you see, straight to the point, right? All have sinned, right? The only person who was able to conquer um, sin in the flesh was Yahweh Shai, right? He was the only one capable of doing that, right? And he was tempted a lot, right? We know that he was tempted a lot, but he never committed sin. You understand? So, um, you can go back to the Hebrews act. Who was reading the Hebrews? Ah. Yeah, you can read verse 7. Hebrews 8 and 7. It says, For if the first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. Can you see? The first covenant was perfect, really, you know. It's just we, we couldn't keep it in this flesh because this flesh too weak. You understand? This flesh too weak, so it was hard for us to keep the, the covenant. Right? You can read um, verse 8. Right, um, verse 8, for finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, saith your how? When I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Can. Right? So the Lord said, going to make a new covenant. Right, and we know that covenant gonna be written way in our minds, right? All the ab, you understand? Um, so you're gonna be written in us orally, right? Um, and um, the Hebrews eight and eight to eight say find them fault with them. It's as if but I was saying um, the book of um, uh, yes. so, um, 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 we talk about the subjective reality. Book of Romans chapter 8 and 20. It said, For the creature, which is us, we be made known as creature, was made subject to vanity. Can so Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, he made this this body to be subject to vanity. Can I, yeah, can. Not willingly. So so that is why just as Paul say, you know, that uh, in this this body don't contain nothing good. You know, you know, because hey, the Lord made this body subject to vanity. It's not willingly, but by reason of him who had subjected the same. 
So is the ultimately yeah, about shit, man. Should I design this body to go up? Can. You know, so that is why he say finding fault in us Can. because because we can't upkeep the load and even self. Look, look at it. You know, it, it's much more hard to fully keep all the loads under captivity. Can. Can. You know, Can. Can. because Can. look at it has so much laws concerning your wives. You know. Brothers still living in the in the mother and father house. Uh-huh. Right? A man can go and cleave unto his wife and mm-hmm. a brother had two three wives they rather be in different he, different um the the own Please, room and yeah. all these none of the you can you can hardly accomplish these things. And not, and not only that too is the fact that even when you hire more than one wife, it has some some brothers who who have their wives and they may not even know about each other because why that van cause a whole back and scene. You understand? Because no, we know in this time now we don't really, we're not really supposed to be seeking after them thing. You know, but if it happen, it happen, right? But at the same time, we know these women and them, right? There's a lot of them who strong, right? They're really trying to hold on, but you see, that's that part knowing that the, the husband could have another wife. That that part does be, uh, 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 a yeah, a stumbling block, right? It's like a deal breaker for them, you know? They, they, they just can't handle that. You understand? So you really had to use wisdom and everything because yeah. the, the, the kind of brainwash that Esau bring out, right? And what they do, right? It was heavy, it was real dread, right? And we know women are the weaker vessels, so you know it affect them a lot, you know? And especially how the system designed to build up the evil, the evil Salafia, you know? To put the, the woman on top, right? So they, they fuck that day, they telling themselves that, hey, a man had to chase them, not them chasing a man, yeah. right? And and that that to the brother saying they have because I prophecy you know this scripture in Jeremiah speaks about a woman going and compass a man. Can even in Genesis and, too, right? Um, yes. one of the scriptures, you know, in, in Genesis when you read the NLT, it says uh, a woman shall decide to rule over her husband, right? Because they they the mentality that they have now they they want to rule over their husband, right? Because why? It's just set them so in that in the mindset, you understand? So that why. As the scripture, the brother read in Romans 8 and 120, right the, the scripture, which is us, the body was made subject unto vanity, right? This flesh weak, can, right? So we can't uphold the um, the laws. Can, and just can. to back up there with what you're saying there with the flesh weak, um, there's um, the book of John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickened it, the flesh profited nothing. Can. The word of the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. Uh, uh, so, it's the, 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 um, the spirit will quicken, you know, the yeah. kako dash will quicken us, that will make us alive, that uh. will quicken us to make us alive, uh. right? But this flesh, it has no profit because the, 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 the kernel is, is enmity against you of Hashem and Shai. Uh-huh. This flesh can please the Lord, you uh-huh. know, because this in this flesh it's always looking to do some wickedness, always uh-huh. thinking about uh-huh. some something uh-huh. corrupt, uh-huh. you know. So uh-huh. that is why, hey, that is why hey, the, the, the spirit wars against the flesh. Uh-huh. Because it comes like so against can, good against bad, mm-hmm. and, and they just going riff and rough, riff and rough. Uh-huh. But it said these words. Is a is spirit and it is life, you know. So that is to show you that that this word quickens us. So, right? it was, um, if you go back to it, you said quicker, but you can bring it on a part of you. Right? It say um, the last part where it say the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Right? They are life. Right? Because where it's saying um, I believe it's Isaiah 34 and 16 where it say it's of the rule. Right, this word is food for the spirit. Yeah. Right, so you had to, in order to, to, to make sure that the spirit win that battle, you had to be feeding it with the nutrition that they need, which is what this word. Yeah. You understand? We had to be feeding it the things that they need. We can't keep feeding the flesh over and over and over. You know, every minute we want to eat this, every minute we want to do that. You know, and it's not literally just food alone. You know, it's lust of this world. You know, as you could just see, the lust of the, lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh. You understand? This 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 um this flesh always seeking to do evil as you know as the brother say, right? It always seeking to do evil. So if it is you want to like 
be able to, to, to withdraw from that as much, right? Because you're not going to be able to do it completely, right? You have to um, strike the, 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 the spirit, you understand, with this wood, right? I can because it's good, to, you know, there's Galatians 6 and, and 9. Huh? Yeah, the Galatians 6 and 9 say that uh, he that so to the flesh shall reap corruption, but he that so to the spirit will reap everlasting life. Can I can see your path. Right? That's so so thy life, thy that, that, that making you uh, live. Um yeah, yeah, the Hebrews yeah. eight and eight. You can read it over Hebrews sure. okay, eight and eight, it says for finding fault with them, say it, behold, the days come, say it, the hour, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Right? Because we know when Ezekiel spoke about that, the Lord bring about those two candlesticks together, right? Mm -hmm. Right? The, the house of Israel is the northern kingdom, right? Which is the, the tribe of Simeon, going all the way down to Issachar, right? And the, the southern kingdom will obviously be the, the the other three, right? Which is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Right? So, if you read verse 9. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, said the Howard. It say not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Can right? So you lot, you lot say not according to the old covenant, right? But the old covenant, you know, we had was to make um certain sacrifices and, and all these things and whatnot. We're not gonna yeah. be able we not yeah. not yeah. gonna be able, we gonna, we're not gonna be doing that again, right? Because it's gonna be written in us, it's gonna be in us. Right? And we, so right. Right. This 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 covenant where where it speaks of here be not under that old covenant and neither right about about this this time right now we not in into the new covenant either. Can. But we under a different covenant where it is is grace. Can. You know? Because if it was in the new well we don't we don't we don't yeah, read those things. Um Verse 10, for this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith your house. I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. Right? So as it said, the Lord is going to be written in our mind. Right, and keeping them will be a must. Right? We're not gonna we're not gonna even want to sin, right? And even if we used to draw an analogy and say we, we want to sin, we're not gonna be able to. Right? It's like holding your breath. Right? When you're holding your breath, right? And you tell yourself you wanna kill yourself and you and you going and you think yourself, right? You're not gonna be able to, you will blow out, you will breathe out, right? You will breathe out. It's like the same thing with when with the new covenant, right? It's like you tell yourself you want to sin. We're not going to be able to because the new, the new covenant is going to be in us, right? We're going to be functioning how the Lord wants us to function, right? Which is righteously, and right? You can read um, the Matthew 10 and 5 up. Yeah, and this is the book of Matthew 10 and verse 5. The 12, Yahweh shall send forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter he not. Right. So you say, the Lord say, Right, go not into the way of the Gentiles, right? Which you know, the Gentiles talking about here is actually the heathens, right? And go into the city, right? And go into any city of the um, Samaritans, enter you not, right? The Samaritans is um, the same heathens, right? Yeah. Samaritans is heathens, but you say what? We go six, act. Go six, but go rather for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Can so the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right? No, the Lord sheep is, is the is they are also Gentiles but what? Um Israelite foreigners. Okay. Right? Because we know it have two different types. Right? The Lord Sheep them are the ones that they, they, they don't know who their power is. They don't know the the, the laws, statues and all these things because why? They they lost, as it say. You understand? They completely lost. 
right and even just to expound on samaritans a little bit right which i said the, the samaritans are heathens right dwelling in the, the land of samari right which did belong to the northern kingdom you understand right it was changed to the capital by king omari right which means shama which is watchtower right um you can get matthew 15 and 21 Book of Matthew 15 and 21. Wait, so like, yeah, you can just finish all the um, the Matthew of the Matthew 10 and 21. Can can the seven and as he go preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Can right? So, Lord send them to the thing, just like what we're doing here now, right? We 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 speaking on to all the Israelites, right? We we testing the, the spirit, right? Which you're gonna get into. Right, we test any spirit out there because we don't know for sure who is Jake and who is thing, right? Because just like with us pickle boots, right? But um Jake looking like he done it, he done looking like Jake. You understand? So we test any spirit, right? We out there we we, we test any spirit and like the Israelite foreigners know that hey select yeah, right? We let them know that hey the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You understand? So right, you can read the, the Matthew 15 or the book of Matthew 15 and 21. Then Yahweh Shai went hence and departed into the coast of Tyre, Tyre and Zidon. Right, which you know is the king and I say. Right. And behold, the woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him saying have mercy on me O Yahweh thou son of David son. my daughter is grievous grievously vexed with the devil right. mm -hmm. this, you see that is true eh, that this woman could not be no hidden because right. how she know see. how she know eh, because that they That's they they back true. then they knew, knew the prophecy and the coming of the Messiah. Can, so can. she so she knew that they a uh, Messiah was about to come. Can. Right? Can. So that's why she say, Have mercy on me, O O O O Lord, can. thou son of David. Can. Can. Right? So she also know that the, hey, the Lord is the son of David. Can. Right? Because as the brother said, she didn't know that she knew the prophecy. Right? This could never be you no know, hidden as the Christians are saying. We like, hey, they see she is a king and I come on and she's a hidden and she come on to the Lord. No. Right? She was not no hidden, she was an Israelite <coughs> foreigner. Can't you understand? Can't. I can read on her to prove the point of your reading on India too. Can't. This was twenty three. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and he sought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried it, cried it after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right, so when the Lord say, He not sent on, but, so like, yeah, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right, what he was doing there, he was basically trying her spirit. Can. You understand? Because as the brother said, she knew the prophecy, you know, but he wanted to see what it is really going on because she looking like a heathen and whatnot, right? But the Lord trying the spirit, right? He trying the spirit. So you can read on her to get the proof. Then, then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Hmm. But no, he done ain't gonna do that, eh? Can. No, he done ain't gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> but he answered and said, It is not met, it is not met to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. Can. And she said, True, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the from their master's table. Can. You can read it. Read, you can read verse 27. 
Well, 2600 is how many NLT? Or you want to read it? Everything. I'm going to read it. Go on. So, let me read the, the NLT. Right? In Matthew 15, I read verse um, 26, right? And 27. Right? Yeah, what shall I respond it? It isn't right to take food from the churn and throw it to dogs. She replied, That's true, Lord, but even dogs are allowed to eat the scraps that, be, that fall beneath their master's table. Right? So she, she was under that order then. She had faith. Right? As it says going on in um, verse 28, uh, you can read verse 28. Then Yahushai answered. Um, so like, so like, that, um, verse 26 too. You know, that was sure, you know, that the, the, the children's bread was tight, and the, 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 the wood, Kana. you know, so it isn't right to take the, the, the wood of the Lord and, and, and cast it to the, give it to the, the dogs before yeah. it went to the children, you know. Which so, well, going back to what, the same Malachi 3 and 6, mm -hmm. and Hebrews 13 and 8, the Lord don't change, Kana. right, because you would have been consumed, right, so if that really was a, 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 a hidden, and the Lord was to do that, then we would have been done away with because why the Lord change. And right? But the Lord see no change. Hmm. Hmm. And hey, this this here is to show you we all say the Lord try she spirit because there is on one, two. There is two different occasions. Can. First the Lord say I am not sent, but unto the Lordship of the house of Israel. Can. So he, he stand his grounds and say, Can. you know, it are no hidden. Dealing mm -hmm. with this business yeah, here, yeah. right? So she come and she she show up. She said, "Lord, I, I worship you, whatsoever, yeah, yeah. whatsoever." The and then, worship him. yeah, she yeah. worship him. And then come back again, right? Because the die confirmation day. Yeah. He saying, "Hey, well, it not me to cast the, the, the children bread, which is the, 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 the Lord's word, mm -hmm. to the to the dogs." Yeah. You know, that is not the pity. You won't see it going about stopping them them Elamites and this and that and tell them repent and turn to the Lord they uh -huh. going off can't, can't. Uh, you they know? don't want to hear that because them they they idol gods working for them that is what they tell them they say God is a money can right because even though it's our power supplying them with them things them is the ones that believe that their power doing something can't. you understand their, their idols is just is, 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 it is what it is it's an idol it's just an object can't. you understand their idols have no power you understand? It's all for us. You want to supply them with them thing because why? We went off. Right? Yeah. That's why repentance is for Israel. Yeah. Right? Salvation is for Israel. Right? Yeah. So you can read. Um, yeah. Continue 28. Yeah. And it's Matthew 15 and 28. Then Yahweh Shai answered and he said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. O woman, great is, is thy faith, Grand. be it unto thee, even as thou wit. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Grand, so you see? So the Lord said, hey, you are faith. You know, you know, hey, that, that, that is our Israelite, because he know no, he done not doing that. Mm -hmm. Right? So the Lord healed that daughter. You understand? He performed a miracle right there too. You understand? So that, that just goes to show the Lord only dealing with Israel. Right? The Lord is not going to heal no stinking he done. The Lord is not going to heal no he done. You dig? They can bring the John now. Is there a prophecy? John 4 and 21. The book of John chapter 4. Chapter 4 and 21. Yeah. It says, In how shall I say unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh, when ye shall neither in this mountain, nor yet at Jerusalem, worship the Father. Right, um, John four twenty one. Then he was shy seven to her. Well, one time in the NLT. Yeah, right, in the, into the NLT for John 4 and verse 21. Yeah, how shall I reply? Believe me, dear woman, the time is coming when it will no longer matter whether you worship the Father on this mountain or in Jerusalem. Can, right? Thanks so much. 
you use some man. Yeah. 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 Actually, yeah, read, read for something. Yeah. yeah. You Samaritans know very little about the one you worship. Hmm. While we, yeah, while we Jews know all about him, for salvation comes through the Jews. Can so you see that the apart, right? Because that going in, that can even apply to, to the scripture revolution where it's speaking about these these rats and them over in Jerusalem, right? Because these these are nations and them, right? And put into the scripture. Can yeah, there, this woman here is a heathen, right? She practices our customs, right? And thinking that the Lord dealing with her, but the Lord not dealing with her, right? The Lord don't deal with no heathen. You understand, right? Um, you must take care. Right, she's even under our power, thinking the Lord dealing with her. Right? Yeah, uh, because yeah. the Lord, the Lord say what, you know, um, ye don't know where you worship, worship but we can. know where we worship. Can uh, uh, because they, 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 they use they, they, they um. They all in our customs Memekin. and all these yeah, they're making our customs and whatnot and trying to be us. But they don't even know who they're praying to. You understand? We know who we're praying to. Right? But they don't know. Right? Because all they know is they're they hidden gods. Right? They don't know our they don't know the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jesus. They don't know the Lord. Right? They don't know the Lord. Because even our teacher, right? Even though they don't know the Lord's name and all these things, right? But the scriptures say they have a zeal of the most high but not according to knowledge. Right? Because we is the one that we had a spirit upon us, right? To, to connect with the Lord. That's why he's trying to destroy his um the, the pineal gland. Yeah. Right? That link to the Lord. You see them, them don't want no link to the Lord. Right? They don't know what they're worshiping, right? But they're following our customs. They wanna be us. You understand? All these nations trying to they all of them trying to claim we heritage, all of them trying to be us, right? Except the, the actual Israelites. Right? Israel out here, they wanna be Africans, right? They wanna be Edomites, right? They wanna be all kind of thing, except what they actually is. Right? Why these nations and them envious of us? They wanna be us. You understand? Because they have a better understanding of what it is we're gonna receive than our people ourselves. You understand? Our people believe in YOLO, right? One, one, you only live once, right? Only one life to live. We mm -hmm. here, you see every other make it and all them shit, right? My cat two and ten say, hey, arise here and depart. There's not your rest, mm -hmm. right? There's not your rest. So if there's not your rest, we where are you? It's a prayer. Isaiah 1 and 3. It said the ox know it is owner and mm -hmm. the ass is master's prayer. Mm -hmm. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. Can mm -hmm. you see? That you are far. It go on to say sinful nation. Mm -hmm. The people leave no to make it. So mm -hmm. this is Israel. Israel is the, the sinful nation and leave no iniquity. What is iniquity? Iniquity is sin upon sin. So is Israel the Lord came for for to the redemption uh, um from from the sins and from the iniquity. Let me see Luke 1 and 68, right? Lord his people God. because his people is the only one capable of sinning because why they are the only ones that receive the law statutes and commandment right God. the scriptures say um his friend repentance unto israel only you understand yeah. children that are corrupt as they are forsaken the lord mm -hmm. they are provoked the holy one of israel and the anger they are going away backward mm -hmm. you see yeah. 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 You can get the Roman, you can bring all the Roman 8 and 16 now. Yeah, this is more for Roman 8 and 16. The spirit itself bear it witness with our spirit Can. that we are children of your house. Right? So the spirit bear witness with our spirit, right? So now you can get Revelation 19 and 9 quick. Can. Right? Just so back up to self before I explain. Revelation 19. Yeah. It's the book of Revelation 19 and 9, and he said unto me, Right, right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true saying of power. And I fell, and I fell at his feet to worship him and he said unto me 
see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of your shy worship power. For the testimony of our shy is the spirit of prophecy. Done. Right? So the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, right? So when I say the spirit, right, witness, right, the spirit is what? This word, right, which is Yahweh Shai, right? Because again, right, we have that final plan to that link with the Lord, right? We, we, we is the one that this nation, the nation of Israel, right, we have that connection with the Lord in that sense. Again, that's why he's all trying to destroy it, right? So we, our spirit, we witness, right, with the Lord, right, with this word, because don't, no matter all these jigs and them, right, these tutors and them, they will come up, they will hear certain things. A lot of them know the stuff that we say is true, but because the Lord blind them, they wouldn't accept it, you know, right? A lot of things they wouldn't see, right? Like they wouldn't see, like they, would, they literally wouldn't get it. But they have things that is like plain as day that, you know, even our wall could understand, you understand? It's plain as day, but they just, what, they stiff naked, as the Lord say, right? The scripture say they're sottish, they, are, they have not known the Lord. Right? Can. So that is what I'm going into. Right? The spirit of the arm. Um, the spirit bears witness with our spirit, right? It resonated because we the Lord people, right? We we, fulfill, we fulfill the prophecies. Right? We we fit the curses according to Deuteronomy 28. You understand? Because yeah. these these curses on them, you're not seeing it applied on any of these other nations. Right? We are the ones that live in um living now on the ground, right? When the scriptures say, I'm what? We shall build houses and shall not dwell in them, right? We just be building a set of damn houses, right? We be building a set of houses. And, and, and guess what, right? It's Esau living in it, Elam living in it, Hamite living in it. All these other nations dwelling in it, right? Even houses we build, we are the pay rent for it. But if we ain't pay rent, it's property tax. You understand? It's, it's licks all around, right? And die the curses. You understand? Okay, the whole Galatians chapter 6. Right, um, this is the book of Romans 9 and 4. Right, because hey, salvation is in for the Israelites. Right? Um, it says who are Israelites? Mm -hmm. To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenant. So so adoption, going go down into the word adoption. Right. Going into the word adoption, right? Strong's G fifty two six. We are the seer. We are the seer. Right. Right, they say adoption, right? That relationship which God was pleased to establish between himself and the Israelites in preference to all other nations. Yeah, fire, you see, you see how direct it is, eh? <laughs> and on point, eh? <laughs> yeah. In you know? preference, you know, yeah. to all the other nations. Can't because the Lord chose me, eh? Hey, second, I think it's the 6 and 54. No, 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 no. Yeah, 6 or 5. We say of all of, of, yeah, of all the pit. That was chosen the one pit, you okay. know, before it entered Jerusalem, not the land, you know. But we know Jerusalem, we, we is a people before we is a place, you know. Yeah, so the Lord, the Lord, you can read back that definition. I can, you know, by definition, I just say the relationship which the Most High was pleased to establish between Himself and the Israelites in preference to all the other nations. Mm -hmm. In preference to all the other nations. Right, the Lord not right. dealing with these other nations and them. Right? Yeah. You see, in preference, right? Between himself and the Israelites. Right? It's a one on one thing. Right? They're not A, B, C, and D. Right. You understand? So, so the Israelites to whom pertain the adoption and the glory and the covenants. You know? Um, see, you get um, they that have a covenant to see by sacrifice. Yeah. Well, well, when I when I read this here, a little bit more, then you will know that. Yeah, 
And the giving of the law, as we read in Psalms 149, he treated wood unto Jacob, you know, his dear one, 147 and 19, and this is 20. Right? It's it. What? You get it? You get it? Right, right, it's it. Go ahead and read it. Right, you see here, um, it's a book of Psalms 50, 50 and 5. God am I saves together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Yeah, mm -hmm. and who made that? Who, 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 um, who had that covenant with, 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 with the Lord by sacrifice? Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, the, 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 Exodus 24 and verses 8 to the point, right? It says, And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which the Lord had made with you concerning all these words. God. Yes, so, so it was with the children of Israel because. because um, when he read up to verses 5, and he sent young men of the children of Israel which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord. God, and also, God. this will be related unto Israel. Is, is the saints, is the Israelites God. that have a, a covenant by sacrifice. These heathens had no covenant by sacrifice with the Lord. God, huh? Right? So going back to the Romans 9, 9 and 4, it says, and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh. So, so what is the service of Yahweh? Being a prophet, being a priest, the priesthood, that is the service of Yahweh Shem Yishai. So you need the Israelites, that's why the Lord never raised up no heathen to be no, no priest unto him or no prophet unto him. Right? It's it and the promises. So you can bring the Galatians there now. Galatians 3 and 16 it says now to Abraham can right it says now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made he not he said not unto seeds as of many but as of one unto thy seed which is a Mashiach can so so the promise was made unto Abraham and not um seeds but see that one, one lineage, the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm. But going back to what the twelve tribes of Israel, so the promise was was made unto Abraham concerning the the the, 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 the kingdom salvation, you know. And hey, it's only the left the Lord doing and should have mercy to, to to bring that salvation in this time. And we know the whole house of Israel will be saved eventually, and they will come back in alone to the to the, to the kingdom because you could bring Isaiah um, 45 and 17. Okay. Yeah, 45 and 17. Uh -huh. Are the book here? Yeah, you could bring that one. Yeah. You could bring Zachariah Sephana 330. Book of Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh, in Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. 
Yeah, it's a world without end, you know. So, so Israel, Israel is not gonna be as, as the scriptures say, um, the Lord says, not so you sons that you come and not destroy, you know. So, we are world without end, and that is why salvation is coming to the Israelites. You can because in, in the kingdom, right? Um, the nation of Israel is the ones that are gonna be immortal, all these other nations and them, they will hang away all and die. And keep on coming back over and over and over again. I got except for so you know, after that, I was nearly dead. That would be their hell. You know, hell is a lower state. Right? So we're going to be immortal. You yeah. understand? And what's going to make that too, you know, the, 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 um, according to the first Corinthians 15 and from all four, you going down where this mortal when I put on immortality because with that immortal body the Lord is gonna place it the Lord is gonna program us to being righteous and you can pull that scripture because Israel not gonna be transgressing that's why you say you're not gonna have to come and teach your brother to know the Lord and this time and that is you we know that are covenant yet and this time and look we still making videos we still going out on the highs and by so we couple people so we know we're not in that time yet. Right now we need grace period. But a grace period is only for a, a, a certain yeah, a certain amount of time. And that time is gonna run out. You know, but it can bring you peace and be now. This is um the book of Zephaniah three three and thirteen. The, the remnant of Israel shall not be in pity, nor speak lies, neither shall be deceitful tongue be found be found in their mouth for they shall plead and lie down mm. and not shall make them afraid can you know so the, the, the remnant of israel right they're not going and do no iniquity so in the kingdom of heaven they're not going to have no jake you hear jake sleep with another man why or you hear jake on some folly some lgbt whatever <laughs> whatever scene We'll do, we're not going to be iniquity. You know, the Lord, the Lord going to set up a righteous order. And how he's going to do that is when he comes back to bring all nations under subjection. Okay. Right? And you see, that, that goes back into the same um, precept that we went into. Right? Because the brother mentioned that, hey, you're not going to have all this folly going on in the kingdom. Right? Yeah. Because why? When we when we established when we established with that new covenant, right, which is gonna be in us, right? It's not gonna be in us to go and sin, right? We're gonna be performing be performing righteous acts, right? We're not gonna be sinning and doing this and committing idolatry, right, or adultery and all these things, right? It's not we we're not gonna be able to sin, right? We're not gonna be able to sin. Right, and we're gonna keep these these other nations and them under subjection, right? Because if you don't keep the law, statutes, and commandments, right, we are gonna kill you. You understand? We are gonna kill you, and that's why Esau gonna die too because he, you know, he gonna rebel regardless, right? But even if too, right, even if he wasn't doing that, he still gonna die, right, for all the atrocious things that he do because still gonna be bucking up against him, Mosiah and his son, right? Well, you scripture say, right, blasphemy and the Holy Spirit can never be forgiven. Right, so if his son not gonna get forgiven, you understand? He gonna he gonna be bound for a thousand years, right? Hardcore slavery, and then he gonna get wiped off the face of the earth, right? Because every Lord is dealing with these nations, right? According to Obadiah one and eighteen, I believe, right? The Lord say we will have no more, right? At the um, house of Israel, if we can bring it to Babu Kusha, Obadiah. The house of Israel. Yeah, grand. 18, 18. Yeah. Book Obadiah 1 and 18 and the house of Jacob shall be a, a fire and the house of Joseph a flame and the house of Esau a, a stubble Can you see? Mm -hmm. the house of Joseph a flame and the house of Esau a stubble Go ahead. And, the, and they shall kindle in them and devour them Gun. And there shall not be an rem any, I, remaining. any remaining of the house of Esau, Gun. for the, for Yahweh That's has spoken it. Gun. So you see, mm -hmm. you say, hey, take my remaining of the house of Esau, 
right? So if the Lord was dealing with heathens, right? Because he saw he's a heathen. We just yeah. know he's the, 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 the top heathen that full of fuckery against the nation of Israel, right? To put it simple, yeah. right? But if the Lord was dealing with, with heathens, right? As a Christian, to say once they once they love the Lord or they, they worship him and thing and matter of right? As we went into earlier, right? They could practice all our customs and whatnot, but they, they don't know who they're worshiping, yeah. right? It's not in them to even worship the Mosai or to even know how he is and on these things, right? When you even hear them, exactly. Yeah. Can that yapa on point, right? We 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 are the only people that have that link with the Lord, yeah. right? We are the only ones that have that link with the Lord, so they're not going to be able to do these things, right? So the Lord not dealing with no heathen, right? He saw can I get saved, right? Um, Ham can I get saved, Elam can I get saved, Moab can I get saved, Ammon can I get saved, right? It's only Israel can get saved, you understand? Yeah, you preach up there? Yeah, you know, um, the book of Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9, it said, They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, Done. and such shall be... If the ones that put their trust in him, right? You know, when he didn't put their trust in the Lord, who don't put their trust in, as the brother said earlier, money, right? That is their God, that is their power. No, he didn't go and put their trust in the Lord. Can and hey, hey, trust before you could build trust, you had to have faith in something, can, you know, can. before you could trust that. So, so what all these scriptures say, um, Ecclesiastic or so on, you know, um, faith was given to them from the womb. And so, so that is why we know that these heathens are going to have faith in, 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 in your house, you know. Um, let's see, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him, for grace and mercy is to his saints. And we already clarified who are the saints, you know. And he had care for his elect. Mm. You see? Mm. Yeah, yeah, the Lord care for his elect. Right? Mm. So even though the Lord delivered the nation of Israel, right? the first go around is just the elect alone. You understand? So every Lord can even do that. Right? Every Lord, every Lord was dealing with the seasons, right? Which will be the whole world then. Right? As Christians are going to say. Right? Then the elect, the elect will be coming out of some of these other nations and them too. Right? And then you and, and then what basically you'll be seen as such a defeat and turn them among hmm. us. Right? Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see it, it's not so. Right? It's not so, it's jigs. Right? Because again, right? We 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 have um we what I quote it really I know. According to knowledge. Right? There is zeal at the most, right? but not according to knowledge. Right? It's only Jacob and a zeal. Right? Zeal going to what? To motivation and whatnot. Right, these nations and them are motivated to do shit. They, they tell us, hey, you're making money, I earn money. You yeah, understand? Yeah, that's what we're doing. And as yeah, they, 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 they say earlier on, hmm. they, they, they um, depend on, on Israel, huh? which is we have the salt, you know, yeah. without us, you know. We can do shit. And, 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 you know? and, and we have always said, because we are the customers, they are the merchants, yeah. you know. We buy the clothes, we buy the food, and mm -hmm. you know, all these things. Is Jake, Jake, what happened in the world going round and round? Yeah, and round. because at the same time, we have the brother go to here, right? We, are the sun, we like the sand of the sea, right? There are a lot of us all over the place, right? Because all these heathens and them, yeah, they, they buy from one another too, but they had the money to do that. You know, it's Jake is the one that's spending their life savings, so we can't even and all this shit. You understand? Putting in their pocket, right? And you gotta go and take out, imagine you gonna take out loan, right? Putting yourself in debt to go and participate in something that is not even your custom. While well, there are rats over there pretending to be you, right? And, 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 and trying to inherit your customs, right? Trying to inherit your customs. Imagine that. Right? Imagine that. Because I am bringing a piece of it. Right, first Peter 4 and 18. Let's see, and if. It say, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, so if if the righteous type of the elect, right, get get salvation scarcely, you know, almost not. That was the meaning of scarcely, almost not. Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Mm. So so the ungodly out of the clearly out of the picture. 
Define right through the spirit and power of your Hawa Basham Yahushai, right? So, we want to give all praises to your Hawa Basham Yahushai, Basham Kapodash, double on unto the apostles and the lesser great millstone. Right. Shalom unto the brothers out there that push any likewise works, you know, in all truth and sincerity. Shalom unto the few but faithful Aquatium, you know, that listening and learning, you know, being faithful unto their husband. And onto the speckle bird Shalawam. Shalawam. Right, BTA. Right, right, better America and fuck you so. <laughs> as yeah. priests that say, you know? And right. A bad babal. A bad babal. Shalawam. Shalawam. Akiam.